I'm in the mood for fish and chips. Welcome back to the Mighty Mansfield Show. Now, I do actually, so today, I've just finished uh, work for today and it's been all right, but it's been melting today. I think we were approaching 30 degrees today and uh, it, I just don't, I just don't like cooking when it comes to that sort of temperature. So I'm going to go and get myself some fish and chips. And I said to, to my mate at work, I said, oh, you know, I'm not cooking tonight. He said the same thing. He said he's going to get takeaway. And I said, I'm just going to go and get fish and chips. And he said, we've got to try this chip shop called Top Table on the Wokenham Road. I've never been there. He said it's absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to take his word for it because... I get, I'm a funny one. I really enjoy fish and chips there when I'm down the coast. And if I find a really good shop, I tend to wait until I'm back down the coast again for fish and chips and I know it's going to be blinding. Like, you know, one of my favourites, everybody knows it, is, um, is Rockfish in Brixham Harbour. I, I, you know, I just think it's one of the best out there. And I think it's where you are as well, so you can smell the sea anyway. So anyway, we're going to go down to Top Table and I am going to get Haddock and Chips and we'll have a go on it and see what we think. So this is where we're going, top table fish and chips. Well, so I've got it. I, um, I went for haddock and chips and it was a proper old school chip shop. And, you know, it just had like one of them very small. I mean, it had like fried chicken in there actually to be fair, but mainly it was a very traditional menu. And it was cooked to order in front of me. So I quite like that. Um, so it cost me £11.20 with a can of 7up and got these old school, old school chip forks. I've grabbed a couple of them anyway. Um, I'm going to use my, my fork though. I don't like eating fish and chips with my fingers. I, I, it, it gets so greasy and you know, it's, I have a much better experience when I use a fork. And what I also do is got my own ketchup because it's in a glass bottle and I like it out of a glass bottle but I bring my own salt as well now the reason I do that is because and vinegar because it's easier just to say no to both of it now the reason I do that is because I don't like loads of salt and if you said a little bit of salt it'd still be loads of salt in my eyes so that's why I do it but absolutely melting in here at the moment it's like 30 degrees still Oh yeah, as well. This um, so this is top table fish and chips on the Wokingham Road, and they only take cash. I don't know why that is, but anyway, yeah. So if you do go down there, just bring cash with you. Well, let's have a look. See what we got. Now these guys cooked this to order, so you had to wait. So it took, I suppose, it took about ten minutes, but it's all cooked to order. Piping hot. So it's on a tray, but the chips are falling out in the bag as well. So that's my fish and chips, that's what we're having today. Now I think that actually does look pretty decent. I think it looks pretty decent anyway. Um, a little bit of salt on. So this batter is dark, it's perfectly crispy. And the chips look decent as well. I must say this is starting, it is looking good. So the reason I'm doing this all one-handed is because I've opened this fish up and I'm holding, I'm holding the packet, so it's a bit, bit difficult. Next time, next time I'll um, open everything up first. It's going to be a lesson to me to be learnt there, I think. So a nice bit of the old Tommy K on there. Look, I can't, this batter does look really good. To be fair. So let's have a go on these old chips first. <laughs> These are proper chippy chips. They're decent as well. What I liked about this place is, and my mate said this, he said they cook everything to order, and they have right in front of you. Mmm. Because a lot of time you get them up when you're not at the coast, they don't do it properly, do they? And your chips are all like soggy and batter's soggy, but this is this is not. Yeah, good chips. Let's go on this old fish then. Now I'm going to break a bit off of this, this fish so that you can see it. Oh wow, it's not that greasy either. So it's pretty decent. Decent bit of fish that. Now obviously it is a bit greasy but I've got to say, that's one of the best bits of fish I've had inland. 
Now, the batter is quite dense, quite heavy. It's not greasy, very crunchy. But I like it like that. You know, I know some people like a really light batter, but I quite like the heavier, heavier batters. And if they've done this well, then they're nice. This fish is really, really nice. Yeah, what a what a recommendation this was. And it just looked like the standard old school chippies did. Didn't look anything special, but it goes to show when they when they cook to order and they they care about what they're doing. The result is just mind blowing. It hasn't sat in a counter for ages. It, the chips haven't been on the side. He timed it all right. It was you know yeah you had to wait ten minutes, but it's worth waiting for. So again, this is this had his skin on. I know it's a controversial thing, some people don't like the skin on it. I don't mind, either or. I find the skin does have a lot more flavour, um, it locks it in. Oh, that's what I think anyway, and, and this is certainly a really nice piece of haddock. Like I say, £11.20, I don't think you can go wrong with that. That's, that is absolutely banging, really, it's a bargain. Proper chippy chips, can't be them, lovely. So this was a Chinese um, fella in there cooking this, and he, he was a really nice guy, he was really chatty, and you could care he wanted you to have a good eating experience, and he's delivered on that. I haven't had fish and chips as good as that in, inland for a long time. You know, there used to be a place in London we used to go to, on Marleybone Lane, and that was called Golden Hind, I don't know if it's still there or not, but that used to be pretty decent. Um, but that fish and chips there, that was top, ta top table at, on Wokenham Road. I know the fish was frozen and the reason I say that is because when I got to the thicker end of the, the fish there was a bit of a dry spot in there. I don't blame them for freezing them, they probably buy it frozen and so I'm not going to mark him down on that because um, the rest of it was absolutely blinding. So I'm going to score it, I'm going to score it a 9 out of 10. It was good, it was really good. And I do recommend it. I think for me, I need, I need to have the sea around me to really, really enjoy fish and chips. So, yeah, 9 out of 10. I mean, that's a good score. So, that, that, that was good. Good recommendation for me. And if you're in the area, get yourself down to top table. Bring cash with you. So, the sun's just going down now and it's feeling a little bit cooler. But I'm going to go and do beer of the week. Right, so, I've just sat down to have beer of the week. I don't know if you can hear, but there's thunder. We're just getting a thunderstorm. It's just starting this bit of rain now, but I'm hoping it blows over. So I'll show you what I've got. Amigos. Now this is lager. It's Mexican lager. And it's it's got a bit of tequila in there. So yeah, we'll give it a go. So hopefully it blows over. If not, we're in England, didn't we? It's British weather for you, great British weather. Right. Well, let's, let's give it a go. It smells a little bit, I guess, like um, Desperado does, but 4.6%, it's got a bit of tequila in there, for tequila flavoured anyway. Do you know what? That is really pleasant, actually. That's really nice. I thought it was going to be more lemony than that, but it's not. It's like a, it's a cross between the shandy flavour and a lager flavour. I'm not sure I can taste the tequila to be honest, but maybe there's a little twang behind it, I don't know. But yeah, that's quite a nice beer, I recommend that. Amigos. So, I took a re recommendation, I went to Top Table Fish and Chit Shop, and that was on the Wokenham Road, um, just on the other side of Reading, and it was good, it was proper old school though, it was like, like you know, you used to remember fish and chips, was, the, the batter was quite heavy and that's not to everybody's taste, but it certainly is mine anyway, you know, I, I also like the light batters as well, but yeah, I just, I just see it as traditional fish and chips really, but yeah, no, they were really good and I gave them a rating, out, I gave them a 9 out of 10, so I do recommend people go there, you know, for the price as well, I think it was £11.20 I paid. Outstanding. So I've got myself some snacks as well, some beer snacks, and what I've got is uh, pork scratchings, the original Mr. Porky, and I remember they used to have um, striped 
packaging back in the day, but again, great taste award. But they're going to have a great taste. They're pick snacks, aren't they? I like Mr. Porky because they're not as salty as some brands that you can get. To be honest with you, I'm pretty pleased that this storm's come because I mean, we're, we're hitting 30 degrees Celsius and that's just far too hot for people that aren't used to it. So I think I think it's going to get heavy in a minute. I might, might, make, I might have to make a dash for it. Yeah, hear that? So, I'm going to wrap the video up on this, um, because I think I'm going to get a bit wet in a minute, but hope you enjoyed the video, cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode, cheers.